Hi, it's a lipstick gal. Thank you so much for watching today. I wanted to show you the lip products that kind of look and feel more like traditional bullet lipsticks. These are all bullet products here that I have been loving for spring. Um, I'm finally getting warmer weather where I live. I live in the Pacific Northwest um, and it, it, we're finally like above 50 degrees on most days. Sometimes it gets like mid 60s and I'm like, oh, so beautiful. So sweater in the evening, sweater in the early mornings, the rest of the day, like me and my short sleeves, I'm lo loving it, loving it, loving it. So um, this is not going to include any lip oils or lip glosses because I love those sorts of things, especially when I have to get ready quickly. Those are perfect for reapplying without look, needing a mirror. But a lot of these lip products in front of me are that way. So there are, I was going to say there's 10, there's 11 because there are two really affordable options that are very similar and one of them is kind of hard to come by. So let me start with that. This is the e.l.f. Lip Slick and this is in the shade Black Cherry. So if you've ever fallen in love with the Clinique Black Honey, this is a super affordable $5 version. This is a product that you used to be able to find at the drugstore. I picked my first one up at Ulta. I used to be able to get it at Walmart and something happened because they have replaced these lip slicks. Um, they used to have these in a wide range of shades. Now this is the only one they have and I never find it in store. The only place I ever find this is on the e.l.f. website, but it's totally worth it to me. I love this so much. I've always liked the Clinique Almost lipsticks and I've worn the shade Black Honey since like the late 80s, early 90s. Like that's been around forever. I've always liked it. I've always worn it but it's $26 now. And this is not perfectly, perfectly identical, but it is so close, like you can hardly tell at all. So I remember swatching these against each other when I still had a Clinique Almost Lipstick in Black Honey. But if you can't find this one or you're not placing an order from the e.l.f. website, here's another one that's really good. This is the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Tinted Balm, and this is the shade Bliss You Berry. Let me show you what the swatch of this is like, and you'll see it's just a little bit more pigmented. This is a little sheerer, but they're very much in the same color family. One just has more pigment, and the other one here is just a little bit thinner and I would say between the two of these let me throw this one on so you can see it but for me it really comes down to this one is thinner and more balm like and this one here has more of almost like a lipstick feel so to me this has more of that lipstick look it's still shiny it's still glossy it's really pretty I'll be honest if I'm choosing between the two of these I like this one a little bit better it's harder to come by though, but if you're looking for one of these less affordable, hardly looks like much on your lips or a little bit of color that will go with almost anything, I feel like this is more of the, just a little bit of color and this is more of like a, look what I have on. But this has more of that traditional lipstick feel to it, but they both have a nice slide. They both have a nice glide and they're both really comfortable to wear and go with so much. This next one is from M Cosmetics. This is their Lip Cloud. Oh my goodness, I love this product. So this is very much one of those twist up only style lip products. And um, this is the shade Mona Lisa. I might have pushed a little hard. This is one where I feel like on the back of my hand where there's knuckles, it's really easy to push too hard. I love the way this looks. I love the way this wears. On the back of my hand here, it's pressing too hard, but I don't find that that kind of smushing and collapsing of a soft product happens on my lips. It happens on the back of my hand because, you know, my bony ridges. <laughs> but on my lips, I don't have that happening. So I like, first of all, out of all the glossy, super hydrated, glowy kind of gloss and stick forms, this one is a little bit thicker, not in a bad way. It doesn't melt as easily as maybe a candy glaze from YSL. I love those, but those to me are more gloss and less lipstick. This is more lipstick than gloss. And then on top of that, this color kind of hangs tight for several hours. I was using a different one. I have several of these, um, but I was using the uh, one of the other shades that I have all day yesterday. And this is one, like the one from e.l.f. that I can throw on without a mirror. I'll carry it in my pocket with me, toss it in my purse. And this kind of neutrally shade goes with anything. If you think this is too light, you really might like this other one here. This one has a little bit more of an orangey, rusty tone to it. Um, this one is Van Gogh. This one is Mona Lisa. 
They're beautiful. Love these so much. Here's one that ever since I picked it up, I can't stop reaching for. And it's not like this is a new formula to me. I already have several in this formula that I think maybe me and the colors, I, for, I just forgot about them. It's terrible. I did. It's the Dior Addict Shine. Oh my goodness. This is the shade Canage. Um, this is the shade 716. But the way that this glides and feels in the lips, mm, so good. Yeah, and like this is one of those that I put on with that a, a mirror all the time, all the time. The more you build it, the more color you're going to get. But this is one of those, um, these are, you know, these are a little bit more mauve -y. You know, this one here has a little bit more warmth and a little bit more brown in it. But it feels like a soft lip balm like a cushy treat, like exactly what my lips want. Some color, not too much. It wears off evenly. I don't end up with a bald spot in the middle. This doesn't end up finding all of my lip lines and going places. I feel like um, I can have some of that happen with other gloss formulas that come in that stick format, like the Makeup by Mario, their serum, whatever it is, one that only advances up. That one finds all my lines in so I need a lip liner with that. I am surprised that this is kind of like a, you know, it's a shiny lipstick. It's not as glossy as this, but it's got some shine to it. It looks really nice here, but it's not so emollient that it just leaves my vermilion border in trails. And I love that. I definitely like this lipstick and this color is really easy and neutral. I can wear it with anything. I always love a red lipstick all year round and I have different types of reds for different times of the year. Here is one of my favorite ones for spring and for summer. This is the Glossier Ultra Lip and this is the shade Fet. It's kind of like their watermelon red. I love that this is a slightly sheerer formula. It does have that gloss to it. Um, this is what it looks like. I love a bold color, but sometimes a lighter version of a bold where it's not completely opaque and matte, it gives it a different look. And I love the slightly, I don't know, to me it feels like a slightly warmer red. It's so easy to wear. It's so easy to apply. I think that's amazing. I do have two other shades in this formula and one's more of a rosy tone and one is more of like a beigey tone, but man, it's a super easy formula to wear. And if you find a shade that you like, I just feel like it's really easy, low maintenance lip products, which means easy to apply, don't always need a mirror, doesn't really travel outside of your vermilion border, and then wears off evenly all over while imparting hydration to your lips. Like I have a lot of asks when I'm coming up to finding like the perfect lip product. And I don't know if there's really a perfect lip product. For me, my criteria is pretty stiff. And this very humble 20 something dollar lipstick, she does it. She's really great. It almost feels like sweatpants, but for your lips. I really love this lip formula from Rare. I prefer this over their lipsticks, and it's not because the formula is better, it's because I like the shade range in this better. This is their Tinted Lip Balm, and uh, this right here is the shade Compliment. But what I like about this is that this balm feels really beautiful, but it wears like a lipstick, because it has more like actual pigment in it than I would expect. And I don't know if it's just this shade and compliment, but let me throw it on for you. So it's, again, all of these tend to be kind of glossy and not too much. This one definitely has a lot more pigment than the rest of them, but this formula from Rare is nice because it's very hydrating. It has a nice emolliency to it, a little bit of slip, but it's not like greasy. It's super easy to reapply, but because it does have more pigment than everything else that I put on this up until this point, this is one that I do use a mirror for, um, but that's just because it's like a deeper plum shade. But I, I like this so much. Now, the reason I don't like the rare lipsticks, look, I love the formula of the lipsticks, but for me, I just don't see any shades in there that aren't too peach pulling. They'll pull a little bit warm and warm in such a way that it's not the most flattering look on me. I either need less saturation or more saturation. Um, like the red is too much of a brick red. There's a lot of shades that turn peachy or kind of brown. I don't know. It's not my favorite shade of lipsticks, but the formula, oh, the formula is beautiful, which is why I was like, please, 
release more shades of the lipsticks because I would pick them up. But this from Rare, this is great. This is a lipstick that I've loved for a long time. Two years and I'm still reaching for it on the regular and it keeps getting shorter and shorter. And it's at that moment that I know this is the right lipstick for me in the right formula, in the right shade. I love it so much. And I'm talking about the signature lightweight lipsticks from Merit. Okay, this is my favorite shade, it's baby. Now, the reason I like this shade, it looks better when I'm wearing like a stronger eye, but I have kind of like a softer eye on today. So this is not gonna help the look as much as it would on a different day. I like that we've got a little bit of a cool lean to this shade, but it's the formula. The formula is absolutely stunning. It is kind of like a cool mauve nude, but this is so creamy. It is so comfortable. This does not like go everywhere. This I think is one of the best lipsticks you can get at Sephora. <laughs> now, I love my Prada lipsticks. I love my Dior lipsticks. There's a lot of beautiful lipsticks out there, but I love both the matte and the satin formula from Merit. I just wish there were more options. There are eight shades in this formula. There are eight shades in the new mattes. I like the mattes. I have five of each. The reason that I like this so much is that it works so well on a day when I'm wearing a bold eye. It works really well on a day that I'm wearing a bold cheek. It works really well when I've got a really light, almost no makeup look on, but I need a little bit of color to my lips because it is a little bit more than my natural lip color, but it's not a ton more. This is one where I feel like you know, I don't have enough going on here or here for this to look cohesive, but this lipstick formula and this shade are beautiful. I reach for this more during the spring and summer than I do during the winter. And now, especially since they have released those new mattes, I'll probably reach for the mattes more in the cooler months. Mm. But this is great because it's comfortable. It lasts several hours on the mouth. It doesn't dry my lips out. It imparts moisture. It fades evenly all over. I don't get a bald patch in the middle. It's just beautiful. I love the Merit lipsticks. All I want are more colors. That's all I want. I want more. I fell head over heels for this soft matte formula from Prada the first time I cranked it up. And this shade here is beautiful. This is the shade, um, I think it's 101. Yes, this is the shade 101 Tiepolo. I love that this has a, just a, a, a hint of warmth that the one from Merit doesn't. It's a little bit cooler. I feel like it works better with the makeup that I'm wearing today, but this formula is so easy to wear. You see how sheer it is, how lightweight it is. You can still see like my freckling and skin tone under here. It doesn't really blank the lips out. I don't know, and I, I keep telling myself, you need more lipstick like you need another hole in your head. <laughs> but I, I wanna try this formula in a red. And I don't need more red lipsticks, and I don't need more Prada lipsticks, but oh my goodness, this is so beautiful. This lipstick goes with a smoky eye. This lipstick goes uh, really beautifully on a day when I'm wearing no makeup. I need something on my lips and then I'll take my fingers and tap it over my cheeks. It's beautiful, just a little bit, not too much. Um, it's not drying, um, it's not uncomfortable, and because it is kind of like a really nice, kind of a lightweight sheer shade, this is one that I can throw on without a mirror. I mean, come on, who, who doesn't love something that's easy and low maintenance? It doesn't also just kind of go everywhere. It stays within the confines of my vermilion border. I really, really, really love this lipstick. And I'm curious to know, and eventually I'll find out, whether it's the formula that I love so much. I like the Hyper Matte formula, which is more of their opaque formula from Prada. And I have a red in that and it's really pretty but I can't stop wearing it. So I think it might be this shade Tiepolo, the 101 shade, but part of me also thinks that it's the lightweight. It's creamy, it's hydrating. It's, it's not hydrating like you would expect like one of these glossy things to be, but for a matte lipstick, it doesn't dry my lips out. And anytime my lips start feeling dry because the product is so sheer and lightweight that I'm like, I need more. I just throw some more on and hydration again. So I really like the formula, but you gotta remember she's a $50 lipstick. So I started getting Chanel lipsticks for the first time in decades. It's been decades since I bought a Chanel lipstick because when I got them last in the 90s and early 2000s, I was like, eh, 
they were okay, but they weren't better than a lot of other stuff out there. And I feel like the formulas have changed drastically since I last purchased Chanel lipsticks that now, oh my goodness, this is the Rouge Allure Extract, and this is the shade Rose Confidence, I think. Actually, it's Rose Independent. Okay, so what's great about this lipstick, first of all, I love the slimline packaging. She's refillable. Um, the one from Prada is also refillable. Um, but I love how much pigment, look, that's one swipe. And it does have a subtle shine to it. It looks really pretty on the lips. This also is one of those that, even though it is creamy, even though it is hydrating, even though it does have that kind of cushy plushness on the lips, this hangs tight. I've gone through like meals with this, you know, like appetizers, beverages, entree, dessert, still had lipstick on. <laughs> I love this lipstick and it's also one of those that imparts moisture. I feel like this one is definitely more on the moisturizing side where it's made and formulated to be imparting goodness to your lips. And the older I get, the more of that I need. So I love the way that this goes on. I kind of think like, ooh, I'd like more of these um, Rouge Allure extracts, but they're, what, $59? They're expensive. They're beautiful lipsticks, beautiful lipsticks. This shade though, this is a great shade. And I like how it pulls a little bit warm. So it'd be great with a peach blush. Be great with, you know, kind of like a warm toasty blush. It works with so many things. It's lovely. This is a formula that came out in 2022. And when I tried it, I have not looked back. I love this. This is the YSL The Bold. This right here is one of my favorite shades. This is the shade 1968. This I think is called Nude Statement, 1968 Nude Statement, but it's the prettiest kind of pink leaning nude. Another one that this is one swipe. This is, these two are super pigmented. I love that about this lipstick. This lipstick, I have three in this formula. I have a bright red. I have more of like a warm nude, kind of like an, almost like a terracotta nude. And this kind of pink leaning nude that is just so pretty. I'll tell you, this is the shade of lipstick I wore all last summer. I put it in my purse, I never took it out unless I was showing it like in a monthly favorites or something. But it's the one that I use nonstop, nonstop, nonstop. Couldn't stop using it. It is so comfortable. The other thing I love about this is I have, you know, a bright red and like these more nude shades. I don't have to wear a lip liner with these. Like they look beautiful if you do wear a lip liner, but I like that this isn't instantly finding all of my fine lines and traveling outside of that vermilion border. I want it to stay on my lips and not end up everywhere else. So this is fantastic. I love that so much about this lipstick. The other thing I like is the, the way that they've been repackaging these. Um, I feel like this black with the gold and this raised detailing here is so pretty. Uh, these are fantastic lip formulas. I feel like right now I would have more of these if there were shades that weren't close enough to other things I already had in my collection. But if you're like looking for a beautiful, everyday, easy to wear, like expensive, luxurious lipstick, I love this formula. See if they have a shade you like, because it doesn't have to be this exact one. Oh, I love this one. But I really feel like I have not picked up a shade that I didn't love, haven't been wearing, they're just so good. Last lipstick I have for you is this one from Dior. This is the reformulated satin lipstick. Dior reformulated or released their reformulations in December of last year, and they reformulated the velvets, the mattes, as well as the satins, and there are so many shades. There's like 60 some odd shades in the line, but these, like the previous version, are refillable. Um, the one upgrade that I love, packaging's a little bit weightier, and they're magnetic now. Love that. But if you have one of the old components and you want one of the new refills, they fit as well. Super smart, love that. All right, this is the shade 720 Econ. This is one that I cannot stop wearing. I love this one. Here's Econ. I feel like this one here has a little bit more warmth than this one from YSL, but it's not quite as warm as the one from Chanel. But these here are the most pigmented. Well, I don't know, maybe this one here from Rare is also really pigmented, but you can see um, there's a wide range of 
shades of intensity. Some are sheer, some are glossier. There are some that are matte, but I like this kind of really easy, no fuss sort of lip look. And what's great about this one is the more I put it on throughout the day, my lips feel amazing at the end of the day. They feel better than they do when I first started the day out. And then on top of that, this color wears beautifully. What I like about these products here is that they're, they're low maintenance. I don't wanna have to babysit a lipstick. I don't wanna have to hold its hand and make sure it's not going where it shouldn't belong. I like that these aren't a sheer lipstick. Um, I do have a candy glaze that's colorless and, and sometimes it's time for that, but a lot of times I, I wanna need a little bit of color, but I also like that these kind of aren't giving me all the color. Now come summer, I'm gonna be wearing bright pink, hot red, like all the colors that I want. But right now I'm definitely going for a less is more sort of look, especially something like this if it were blotted. I mean, do you see? Even better after it's blotted. So for me, put it on, you know, drink my cup of coffee in the morning, let it wear down and whatever transfers to the cup, transfers to the cup. And then I have like the perfect look. And then I just lightly touch it up throughout the day. That's what I love about these lip products that are here. Um, and there are some that are more affordable, some that are definitely luxury, but I feel like this spring, I'm going for more of a barely there. <laughs> Really there. <laughs> I'm definitely wearing lipstick, but it's not like the brightest kapow color. It's very much a, a little bit less, a little bit more pulled back. That's kind of the mood that I'm in right now. Thank you so much for watching today. Here's what I want to know. As seasons change, what do you do to shake up your beauty routine? I sometimes change a fragrance. I will definitely change the body care that I use. Um, the warmer it gets, I use different products in my hair. Do you see what I'm saying? I feel like when the seasons change, it's also a good time for me to kind of shake up my beauty look. And I feel like right now, normally I reach for a lot more color, but these lip shades were very similar and kind of within a range of, you know, soft and muted to just barely a little bit more, but it's not like a bright kapow red. And I feel like that's kind of where I'm at right now. Like last spring, I was wearing a lot more color than this, but I, I kind of feel like these lighter, easier, closer to my natural lip color shades have been the sort of lip products I've been reaching for right now. Um, will I shake things up? Yeah. Will I wear red lipstick again? Of course. But right now I am liking these softer kind of pink leaning shades. Let me know what you do to switch up your beauty routine. I'm also gonna link everything that I talked about in the description bar down below, as well as what I'm wearing on my face today. Here's where you wanna keep in mind, there are affiliate links, you can use them or not use them, but if and when you do, it does help to support my channel and I really appreciate it. Let me know if you wanna see me talk about like eyeshadow products that I'm looking forward to wearing this spring or um, the sorts of cheek products that I'm kinda of craving right now. Let me know in the comment section down below. Have a fantastic day. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye.